Hey guys, so we, that was the first one of these that we did not get at Westvale Abbey and then we could not hit the value that we needed to hit. We did get Cigara. Um, that was Jeremy's, last time we did Jeremy's Fat Pack, this is Dan's. I'm doing Oaf, and then I'm doing one of these, and then I'm hopefully going to get two mini play mats, one of Azula, and then one of Phylia, and then send it to Dan. Because, you know, those are the official play mats. Not many people have those play mats. Like, outside of the one I sold on Facebook, which was kind of a mistake, I didn't really mean to sell it. I didn't actually receive that one. That play mat took a month to receive money, and then like a few weeks to send out. But anyway, um, yeah, so there's not that many play mats in existence. We're going to raffle off a bigger play mat this time. I think the mini play mats are really nice because you can use them as mouse pads or uh, they just make a lot, lot more sense to me than. Oh, okay, finally. Wow, my fingers hurt. Like, they just do. So this is for Dan. Uh, this is fat pack one for Dan. And then we have fat pack two, which is Oaf. And then I'll ship Dan the land as well. And yeah, for Jeremy, I'm gonna wait on the raffle and see if he wins something cool from the raffle. If not, then I'll figure out something. If that's a fa signed failure, then I guess it has to be. Yeah, okay, so here we go. This is for Dan, this is number one for Dan. And good luck, Dan. We've been doing pretty well. I mean, out of these three fat packs we've opened, I would say two of them broke even, which is always what you're looking for. You're always looking to break even in value. Otherwise, people would just continue to open boost packs. Always watching is a very good start. I know this card sees some play. You can actually, I'll do this. So we do not have a rare flip card. Actually, that's kind of cool that, like, I'll do it this for now, because it actually makes a lot of sense to me. And Olivia, Mobilized War, this card is still like eight bucks, although it is dropping like a tank. So, might be time to invest in Olivia. I think it's just going to drop some more, but definitely when Eldritch Moon comes out, even if it's not a playable deck, people will hype her up. That's just the way magic works. Vampire token, no rare. Okay, Flame Angel, Flame Blade Angel. I think we're still doing fine because we got the Olivia. But man, we need like a Nahari or something. Ooh, we do have, so we do have a rare or a mythic flip card. So we have that to look. I keep bumping into the camera because this is a new setup. Wolf of Devil's Breach. Oh. Okay, it, it's not bad. This this was not bad. Um, thing is nice. I do like it. I like it. I just don't like it right now. If that makes sense. Clue. Oh, we got foil. Got foil swamp. Oh, we didn't get a flip card. We just got a foil swamp. Huh. Weird. So I guess if you have a foil swamp, you do not, that replaces the flip card. Good to know. Devil's Playground. Yeah, you pretty much don't want to see a red card as you're <laughs> at the end. Four more packs. We got Olivia, we got Thing and Ice. Two mythics, five packs, it's not terrible. Oh, I forgot to do the... There is a card in a... It's gotta be that black card, Elusive Tormentor. I don't know why I keep getting this card, it's just... I keep getting it. I wish it was good. <laughs> Okay, flip. Oh, we do have a rare. Oh, actually, we did pretty good. We have, uh, yeah, it's not bad. Tooth Collector. 
Sagarda, and it's red. What color is it? It's blue. What's blue? Thing and ice. Wow. Wow, that's kind of crazy, actually. Double Mythics with TITI. Wow, well, that's not bad. Okay. This probably... Okay, we don't have a flip card. Oh, if you have a foil, you do not get the flip card. <laughs> that is what I have deducted from uh, opening all these packs. Oh yeah, that's not bad, that's not bad. Oh, always take a land. Last pack of Innistrad. Good luck, Bobby. Ah, oh, good luck, Dan. Sometimes I confuse you too. <laughs> anyway. Oh yeah, I, I wondered why. Like, yeah, if we can get Eternal Masters, I'll throw it on Patreon and I'll just cover the shipping, the bonus stuff, and you know how I do it. It's not like it'll be too much extra. So we can get Eternal Masters, I'll put it on. Prize. So this one is not bad. Obviously it would have been really, really, really good if we had opened it in the beginning of Shadows Over Innistrad, but definitely not bad. This card I think is still gonna be worth money. Triple Mythics, a land. Yeah, it's, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. <laughs> anyway, oh, Eternal Masters. I'll talk about that more in the Oath of the Gatewatch one. Bye.